All right, welcome to the channel. Stand by, we're going to do something a little different today. Excuse me while I whip this out. All right, so as far as we know, we're going to have a mid-engine Chevrolet Corvette sports car coming out. Now, this is going to be the eighth generation of the Corvette, and people are calling it the Zora, but for now, it's, as far as we know, it's going to be the CA Corvette. Now, there's going to be a couple iterations that are going to come with this car. Now, we're going to get a coupe, just like the Corvettes that we have now. This is basically, you know, two-seater as well with a hatch, most likely, but the hatch isn't going to be for putting your clothes and golf clubs in. It's probably just going to be just so you can access the motor. As far as I know, that's all it's going to be for. You will have storage in the front, kind of like the Ferraris and Lamborghinis, and it's going to be minimal. They're minimizing this car as far as amenities, um, creature comforts, so that it can compete with these supercars that are out there now, but at a cheaper price. Now, we're looking at this car to possibly launch in 2020, but it may show up in 2019 as a 2020 model. So, stand by. Now, Corvette switched to this mid-engine car because they, of course, you know, they want to be able to get better traction and a better stability and performance out of the engine and to be able to put increasingly uh, much more horsepower in this car. Now, we're expecting this car to compete with vehicles that we know now, such as the Porsche 911, which, of course, is a world beater and it's a monster. The next car will be competing with, of course, is the Ford GT because it's a mid-engine car as well, so that is definitely one of going to be its uh, competitors. Uh, the third car I'm looking at is the Audi R8. Now the Audi R8, you know, it's done its thing. It's a pretty good car, but probably not as bad as the 720S. Now the 720S is definitely a supercar. It's definitely a world beater. It has been beating up cars all over the tracks and just head to head, full on just power, lightweight its speed its maneuverability its trackability the 720s is just an amazing car but we're going to do all we can hopefully with this car to make these c8 world beaters now the engines we'll be dealing with will of course most likely will be the 6.2 liter v8 now the lt1 will continue to be used in the c8 except it'll most likely be the base model engine now the other engines that will be offered with the c8 corvette will probably be a twin turbo 4.2 liter V8 dual overhead cam engine. It'll most likely make about 700 horsepower and probably 700 foot pounds of torque. This is still speculatory, of course. The next motor, which we're hoping for, will be the same, be a twin turbo 5.5 liter V8, maybe a 5.4 liter V8 with a dual overhead cam engine and it'll be making in the vicinity of about 750 maybe 700 horsepower maybe 700 foot pounds of torque we're not sure but we're going to find out as soon as they finally release it now there's also been a, a race car that has been seen running around uh, a lot of racetracks mostly in uh, the Nuremberg ring now this race spec car looking at it I can say it's going to be a lot more than 700 horsepower be that as it may, I think that this car is going to be just a world beater. Um, I really think that they're building this car to go up against the GT, the Ford GT, the Porsche 911, absolutely the Audi R8 to take that market over from these vehicles. And then especially and specifically, I think there's a lot of guys out there who own Corvettes who want to get their hands on this C8 VET so they can tweak it and torque it as much as they can, do some weight reduction, some suspension, and definitely touch those turbos if it's going to have turbos and go directly after the 720Ss. Now the McLarens, beautiful cars, super lightweight, very fast, can hold their own against any vehicle out there on the road even supercars. I think that this CA Corvette is going to be the supercar. Once GM releases this car and Corvette owners, wrench heads, get a hold of this car, put their hands on it, and turn these cars into supercar crushers. Most likely even close to something that is going to take over the market as far as even hypercars will be quaking in their boots when it comes to this C8 Corvette. 
I don't think GM is just kind of taking forever to get this car out just because they don't have anything better to do or because they just want to tease us. I think they're coming out with this car. They're going to prove a point. They're going to make some people really, really nervous, especially Ferrari, Lamborghini, Porsche. Ford is going to be quaking in his boots. And I know there will be some 720S owners who will be one to trade their 720S's in to get a hold of this C8 Corvette. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a monster. I know that I would love to get my hands on one of these cars, but unfortunately, hey, I'm balling on a budget. You know what I'm saying? So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, give and don't forget to hit the bell for further notifications of more videos that I'll be putting out. Thank you guys. Have a great 2019. Uh, tell me, Shotzi, is it uh, true what they say about the way you people are gifted? Oh, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Thank you.